Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with Digibyte on my chart already. Again, before I begin, this is only paper trading advice, not real investment. Don't put your real money where I'm saying money may go because I may be wrong and I don't want you to lose money because of what I said. Now, if you want to learn trading in a fun and risk-free way with no real money involved, you may watch the video on the top right corner right now. It's a paper trading course on TradingView. I will show you how to set up TradingView and how to place orders and how to modify orders and also how to use the indicators and how to configure my candle scanner which you will have for free because so I want to help you uh, trading and achieving your goals through trading. So you can get this one for free if you join me in the Promising Traders Tribe. I will also help you with other things. I will show you my strategies and things. You need to go to promisingtrader.com slash join the tribe. Now, without any further ado, let's begin with Digibyte. Digibyte, so far, three days of life for this candle. It is green, but it's very small. So, what's going to happen with that? Well, um, well, now let's stay in the monthly view for, for a second. So, everything in here indicates that it's about, it's about to be pumped up. You see, MACD shows an uptrend the blue line, the MACD line, is also bending towards the signal line, which is good. I mean, it's going to take a few months for this to, to cross over, if it crosses over. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be bullish. And RSI really looks like it's staying above 40, which isn't bad, but it's not bullish. Being below 40 is really bearish. But being above 40 is just kind of neutral, even though it's below 50. And, but it's kind of, between 40 and 60 is kind of neutral. So with a little slightly more bearish implications, but obviously it can it cannot go above 40 if it doesn't go on 40. So yes, you know. <laughs> um, but let's go in the weekly chart and see how the week is going so far. The week is not going very well. We have a red body candle, but not exactly bad. And we had this bull engulfing candle. On the, at the beginning of uh, last month, nearly one month ago, and ever since, this one is, has been holding support because this candle is not finished. Even if it goes here now, as long as it closes above this low here, we're good. And if so, this is support. This is also kind of a morning star if we want. Um, and again, there is this thing here that is concerning me but it's really weeks away from happening if we have the 55 EMA crossing the 233 EMA that would be really bearish but it's probably not gonna happen you know if we check here look how beautifully it's about to cross over it's not very very fast in here I wanted to see it more like steeper than this is nearly flat so it's not very strong but if this price today for some reasons just rallies up, this will also make it steeper. Probably. So let's see how things go because in here I don't have any sign of any any rally, imminent rally, but you know the weekly doesn't necessarily say everything. We can see that RSI is slowly leaving 40, going up, which is good. Now, let me go in the daily and let me also show all the mess in here. Okay, in the daily we see that it tried once to make the crossover and it failed. And now it looks like it's about to try again. And interestingly, which is extremely good, we had a morning star here. We have a morning star here with a bear, bull engulfing candle, which is a retest of this area, which is very good because quite frankly, well, we had also three times the test, so we don't want it to happen more than now, more than this, really. We want the price now to go up and having and testing other lows, higher lows, okay? But this is when people enter their trades. So this is when people buy, basically, after a confirmation. You see, this is when people buy, and it really looks like it's trending up. RSI is trending up. MACD is looking like it's gonna cross, but you see, it doesn't necessarily mean it will cross. You know, that's the thing. You when you trade, you you wait the things for not 
before it happens. You wait for the thing to have happened and then you join the train and, 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 and go and, and enjoy the ride basically until it lasts. That's the way. If you try to catch the stone or the bullet when somebody is shooting at you and you try to stop it with your hands, you may just have a hole in your hand, you know. Now, let me go in the six hours, which is where we really want to see the price to go above this green line here, which is at 0 0.008072 ish. Like it, It'll give you the precise number ish. Anyway, <laughs> what we can see that is very good is that first we had the crossover, but we had it already like yesterday, so nothing particular. But we had a shooting star and we broke the resistance of this shooting star. So, really, to me, this is going to be the support. Now, I don't want to see Digibyte to go below that, and I think we won't see Digibyte going below that. But now we have this, this, and this to be broken. And quite frankly, all we want to see being broken is that green area on top, here, this one, because there is a window, there is a gap. Now, where is it? It's here. The window, the gap was here. I don't know why it's, it moved, but it's here, this gap, this gap here. And if we don't break it, this byte will not go up. In here, for instance, we can see again one, two, and three retests of this area but in this case RSI is even higher than in this test and it's even higher than in this one so I am very confident that Digibyte will rally now will make a minor rally possibly just to close above the 233 EMA but maybe in this area to close again in this area but now to find support in here if it closes above this it will probably find support in here now let me check the three hours quickly yeah it's bullish in here as well you can see it's now trying to pierce the 60 and it's closing above the 55 EMA in here which is very good let me just just zoom in a little bit more so that you can see what I'm meaning the 55 EMA is the green line and the price is closing above it so it's about to make another crossover hopefully let's check what happened in the hour and we had the crossover in the hour but look how how many shooting stars here so yeah, obviously it's struggling crossing the 233 MA so expect a little bit of ups and downs today but this time I'm confident it will make it and we need to see again to break we need to see it breaking that now let's check Digibyte Bitcoin because it's interesting what's happening to Bitcoin right now uh, let me go in the daily in fact we seem to have found another area of support but what we don't see is the bullish divergence here which is a little bit of a concern to me however we have a divergence ever since August because the price dropped and RSI kept going up but here we don't have any and I really would like to see it that's what makes me think that maybe I was wrong thinking that Bitcoin is going to rally and maybe Bitcoin is going to drop but here it's really not it's not trending up in my opinion there is no bullish divergence anywhere let me just check in the eight hours and it was maybe here but no not really not really so the lowest price was here and there's no any anything higher not it's not showing any bullish divergence to me which is the con the concern here we have bullish divergence in the six hours so maybe we can expect a little rally but probably not the crossover then a retest when Bitcoin will do the rally if Bitcoin does the rally because I'm slightly biased now by the fact that I think Bitcoin is going to do the rally but today I said also that Bitcoin was going to drop a little more probably and that confirms that there could be a rally in here but the rally doesn't look like it's going to be necessarily strong so let's see because and, and I think so because it just crossed over so this will be just a correction of this crossover and maybe we will have it dropping again so yeah 
this is my take. We may expect a little rally, but then I wouldn't. I don't think the rally will continue. I think it's just going to be a little rally and then it drops again. Maybe here. Maybe this is support. Maybe. But maybe more. So time is up. I'm sorry. I think I covered everything. Please enjoy. If you enjoy, please enjoy the video. Okay. Enjoy. Did you enjoy the video? No. No. You have to enjoy the video. No. Please. If you enjoy the video, like it, share with your, your um, communities my videos, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow with another update and a new weekly candle. I'm very thrilled to see what happens today. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye.